right behind Irma, here comes Hurricane Maria. Go satellite shows Hurricane Irma as it makes landfall on the Florida coast as a Category 4 storm as Tropical Storm Hose A R moves west in the Atlantic Ocean, photo by NOAA NASA GOES Project Vogetti Images. Hurricane Irma may be gone, but the 2017 hurricane season clearly isn't done yet. Tropical Storm Maria has formed in the Atlantic and is now advancing on the same islands that took the brunt of Irma's wrath. The storm's forecast track, according to the National Hurricane Center NHC, has it strengthening into a hurricane as it approaches the Leeward Islands early next week. A hurricane watch has been issued for Antigua, St. Kitts, Nevis, Montserrat and the tiny, Irma devastated island of Barbuda. Newly named Tropical Storm Hash Maria expected to strengthen and affect portions of the Leeward Islands as a hurricane. While it appears unlikely right now that Maria will soon strengthen into the Category 5 monster that Terma was when it walloped the Caribbean, it could still bring a 3 to 5 foot storm surge. But most disturbing are forecasts that this latest storm could dump up to 8 inches of rain in the northern Leeward Islands, including the Virgin Islands, and as much as 20 inches of total rainfall in the central and southern Leewards, including Barbuda. The NHC warns the rains could cause life-threatening flash floods and mudslides. And that it's to say nothing of how a fresh downpour could hamper current term or recovery efforts. As if all this weren't enough, another tropical storm named Lee is lurking in the Atlantic behind Maria, slowly but ominously moving to the west. Fortunately, for the moment, it does not appear to be strengthening in intensity. Finally, let's not forget about Hurricane Hose A, which is currently about 500 miles off the coast of North Carolina and slowly lumbering north with 80 miles per hour winds, according to the NHC. While Jose doesn't seem to be threatening to blow into town anywhere anytime soon, it could cause dangerous surf and rip currents along portions of the east coast for the next several days. The main takeaway here, don't take your eyes off the Atlantic just yet. To jack into my brain and get more on the latest in science, tech and innovation, follow me here on Forbes, as well as on Twitter at Eric Mac and on Google+.